How's it going, future millionaires? Now we're taking a look at Ethereum Classic, another look, and this is going to be a more comprehensive dive into the coin. So it's currently at $144, and this is on Robinhood, guys. So it's going to reflect different prices on depending on the exchange that you are at. Like for Coinbase, for example, it's at $128 that it is showing me at the moment, and probably whatever crypto exchange that you are at whether it be binance it's going to show a different price but all in all it's going to connect and be in a certain price range around a 20 30 dollar price range once it all comes into play so ethereum classic at this huge spike up 40 dollars today this is what you love to see little but surely gains 40 dollar gains day by day yesterday we had a 30 dollar gain today we're having a 40 dollar gain that is a very juicy look for this commodity here. So I'm currently up 4,900 in my position, and am I gonna sell? Absolutely not. My equity is 8,000, I'm up $2,000 today. Would I sell for profits? No, because there is so much going on behind the scenes that you guys have to understand. And hopefully you've been watching my videos in the past to get a breakdown of what's been happening with Ethereum Classic. Now, Yesterday, uh, last night was a perfect buy the dip opportunity. It dipped below this $100 price point level. Perfect opportunity to jump right in if you have it. Now, it will continue to rise, I say, so it's never too late to hop into this commodity because I see it eventually hitting $1,000 in the future. So, now that it has been creating higher highs, the support level is rising. That is the reason why ETC was unable to break under $90 price point, which is very good. It's a very good look. Like I said before, the longer we hold above this $100 threshold, the stronger the support becomes, just in case there is a profit taking off the table. Now, there may be plenty of reasons to collect profits, and hopefully is because you are in dire need to collect money in order to pay rent. And if that's the case, then I don't blame you, go right ahead. But for no absolute reason should you be selling at these levels because if you purchased ETC under $100, you got it as a caterpillar. And now that it's above $100, it's currently in its cocoon, ready to explode into this beautiful commodity of a coin, reaching heights above $1,000 eventually. Now, enough of that. Let's go ahead and look at Ethereum Classic's market cap and see what's going on. So, oh my god, it is going, it's number 13 right now, it's number 13. So, on yesterday's video on ETC, it was ranked number 19 on the list with a market capitalization of $10.8 billion. And in just a single day, we are seeing it is above $15 billion near that 16 billion dollar mark which is absolutely insane how much money is going into etc now you should know by now but if you don't because this is a judge free zone and my videos are for all sorts of investors whether you are a veteran or a newbie the more cash being poured in means the higher this thing will continue to climb now seeing that it's not even in the top 10 there is plenty of fuel in this rocket they are currently fourth in terms of volume which shows there is huge momentum driving the price up but this is in no way should be compared to dogecoin yes dogecoin is currently number four on the list but look at how many coins are in circulation there's over 129 billion doge in circulation compared to 116 million of ETC. Now, the less in circulation, the better because dilution becomes a major problem. That's why Doge is only 60 cents and Ethereum is above 110 regardless of the huge difference in the market capitalization. So be sure to keep that in mind. Plenty of potential for Ethereum Classic compared to what doge is at currently it's already number four on the list plenty of room for growth so ethereum classic has a cap of 210 million seven hundred thousand coins which means there is plenty more to mine but the closer we reach that cap the higher the demand will be for the coin shooting it through the roof so don't think for one second 
that buying at these levels is too high because we are talking about a crypto that is bound to hit above the $1,000 threshold. It may take time, but patience is the key in investments. And that's why I'm sticking through with you guys all the way through because this is going to make plenty of millionaires. And at the end of it all, we can say we made it. Now, I also want you guys to diversify your portfolio and make sure you're not all in on ETC because bad days might come and that's further opportunities to buy the dip. As you can see, I have an extra $12,000 on the side. And if for those of you who don't know, I use this Robinhood portfolio for swing trades and day trades and a lot of options trading. So right now, since I had so much in this portfolio, I took the opportunity to buy into Ethereum Classic. And on those buy the dip opportunities, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to pour more money in little by little but with just above 50 in quantity of ethereum classic seeing that it'll hit a thousand dollars very soon that is going to be a major come up for a lot of us now i'll try to look more into it when i see those buy the dip opportunities arise i did give a heads up yesterday for those of you who watched my video of why etc is not a dead project I said it was a perfect opportunity to buy in and now it's back on the rise so congrats to you guys who bought that dip and for those of you wondering there is always opportunities to hop in now before I want to end this off I just want to say I appreciate all my new subscribers and viewers especially those who comment and leave feedback because I want my community to come together and give each other insights and perspectives on the matter at the end of the day we all have the same goal and that's to make money so if you see opportunities of rising be sure to drop it down below in the comment sections I try to read through my comments as the day goes by and I am a late sleeper so I'm usually up at 4 in the morning 3 in the morning sleep for four hours and then I'm back up at it at nine o'clock in the morning and I'm on the East Coast for those of you guys who don't know. So if you enjoyed this update, smash that like so it can reach others and subscribe so you can be early on the ball. Catch you guys on the next one. Later.